Welcome to Unity Configurable Joints tutorial. I will be going over the configurable joints in Unity today. So I have my scene set up in here as you can see. So I will be creating a cube and duplicate it. Take the second cube just a little bit higher. Select both of the cubes and a rigid body component. And make the interplay to interplate and collision detection to continuous dynamic. For our case I will make the lower cube a schematic and also add the configurable joint to it. Now I want to come down and enable collision in the configurable joint and take the second cube into the connected body and also uncheck the auto configure connection and take this a bit higher. As you can see, the anchors are going to through this vector, right? So, if I want this to be exactly at this face, at the center of this face, we should set this to minus 0 0.5. Okay, now set up our camera and hit play. As you can see, the higher cube has fallen onto the first cube. Uh, we can change its rotation in every direction if we want to, and move it in every axis if we want to. So, if I select the first cube and go into configurable joint and set X motion to locked. Y motion to locked and Z motion to locked. It is now we are not able to move it anymore, and the center anchor is right now stick to this point. So if I select it, you can see I can't move it. And this is also also the same thing for our angular motions. If I want to rotate it, it is not rotating anymore, right? So, now for uh, right now, let's lock everything except our Y motion and set it to free. Select upper Q and you can move it, but only in Y, not in Z or X. Now, select the first cube and here I want to show you the target position. The target position is the position that our anchor wants to reach into so if i set this to about three our anchor wants to reach it but right now as you can see it is not going over there right now that's because we have to set up a spring for it to add a force and take our uh, object to that position so if i increase the position spring in here Spring is taking our object to going to Y3 relative to this point, right? And I also want to see the position damper in here. And let's set our Y to 7. And as you can see, and also and check the gravity in here. Now, it is about 11 and this object is 7. So that they are 4 units apart, but remember that the distance we set it is relative to this point, not the center of the object. It is relative to this axis and it is calculated from this axis, right? Uh, it is also the same for other axes in the configurable zone. So if I set uh, X to be limited and come down to here and then, no, no, not limited, say so to be free and come down to here and set our X to be 5, for example, and set a position spring for X drive, it is now starting to reach 5. In the x direction, and we have to hire the bit as the damper.
now it has come to a stop, but I want it to be zero for now and set this to zero and also set our X motion to locked. Come down to here and lower our Y to about one. That is okay. Now we want to change the rotation of our local axis in here. So you will at the top of the configurable joint you will find axis in here and you see that X is set to one. If we lower this or make it higher, they won't there won't change anything, but if we take this to less than zero, we can see that our axis has rotated 180 degrees around the Y. So I will just set this to zero for now. And if we want our uh, X Y plane to rotate around the Z axis in the object local coordinate system, we just take our Y a bit higher. If we set this to one, our our uh, plane has rotated 45 degrees for now and uh, this is calculated by taking the arc tangent of y over x so it will be equal to 1 and arc tangent of 1 is just 45 if i take x a bit higher it just returns back because our tangent goes down our uh, rotation will go down also this is also the same thing for the Z axis. If I take this bit higher and also to 1, it has now rotated 45 degrees. And if we set this right now to 0 and take it back a very, very high, it approaches infinity hour and our angle is very tight right now, so it comes to this one. So, set this to be 0 for now. For now, we have seen locked and free, but what happens if we set this to limited? So, when we set, set this to limited, uh, it is uh, limiting our distance from our anchor point by linear limit and linear limit spin. For now, our linear limit is set to zero. If I take this a bit higher, that's a spring force that we set up here. It is trying to take our object up, but it can't do it uh, much more than this because we have our we have set our y to limited and our limit is 0 0.15 so if I take this a bit higher it can reach our first position that we set now we want to send a spring in, in here in case our object goes higher than this value this spring only works if the object is farther than this limit and if it's closer it is within that limit to this anchor point our spring won't do anything so I will just set our Y drive to zero and also this one to zero and use gravity and also add constant force component to it and increase our Y force just goes to this position and immediately stops now if I set this to zero it will just get back and I want to go into cube and come to linear limit and increase our bounciness to one now we will see what happens right now our object goes up hits and gets back it hits our limit and immediately gets back it just won't stop there right now we want to use the spring in here if I set a spring value of 6 and take our cube higher it can now exceed that value but immediately after it exceeds that value, the spring force will apply it to our object and takes it back to our limit. So. Now uh, we have the same 
variables for our angular x and z motion. So I want to experiment it with x motion and set it to be free. If I go down here and increase our target position again and increase our position spring and increase our damper. As you can see, it has rotated along the x-axis. So, if I set this to limited, the limits are adjusted fr uh, from these settings here. Now angular x and high angular x limit. We only have one angular yz limit. So, there are two ways that we can configure them come in here and edit angular limits by clicking on it and in here you can change every rotation that you have set to limited I only have X so it is only showing me the X axis so I prefer doing this using the values in here so I will just lower our angular x limit oh sorry, to minus 30 and in here to 30 now it has rotated 30 degrees in x it can't exceed that value right now that's because we have not set our angular x limit spring if I say the value it will now exceed that value so if I take this value higher force will try to take our cube back to that position it is just trying to get it back inside our limit it is not trying to give it up straight so if you want it to have a target rotation relative to this anchor we will just come down to here and in target rotation we change our values I don't want to change them because they are based on quaternion mathematics in Unity and I don't know how to work with them. So I will just leave it as it is and add in the angular x drives position spring and this will try to get our cube up straight and also add a position damper to it. You see? Now, if I rotate my object in the X and also increase this a bit, this tries to keep it straight to this face. As you can notice, it can uh, exceed the 30 degrees and just get back to that limit as As you have seen, our object is rotating around this point, right? So, if I just go in here and lower our Y, our object goes higher and if I rotate this now as you can see our object is rotating around this most of the parts are done for now and if you come down to in here you can see that we have mass scale and connected mass scale um, if you set this value very low, it is taking the lower cube mass and dividing it by 0 0.39. So it will have a higher mass. If I take into calculator, it will have 1 over 0 0.39 and the physics is calculating everything uh, assuming that, is a, that it has a mass of 2.5 and this is for our 
our widget body and this one is for this object so we can also apply this one so I think that's all for our configurable join you can go into documentation and read other things that I didn't talk about in this video so if you like this video make sure to leave a like below and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions ask them in the comments I will be responding to you as soon as possible. thank you very much goodbye